Brandon and Brittany Buell were told their son Jackson wouldn't make it full term. Then he wouldn't survive a few days, then a few weeks. But now Jackson Buell is two and a half years old. Meet the little boy who is defying all the odds, all because his family decided to say yes to life. Hi, buddy. You're just in a snuggling kind of mood this morning, aren't mm -hmm. you? I love you, bud. Like many wow. young married couples, Brandon and Brittany Buell were excited to learn in late 2013 they were expecting a baby. It was a bundle of joy soon strained by troubling news. The Buell's 17-week ultrasound indicated their growing baby boy likely had spina bifida. They painted a very negative picture. Mm -hmm. They transferred us to a high-risk clinic in Orlando, Florida. And we went through ultrasound after ultrasound, week after we week. We went twice a week, it seemed yeah. like, for some sort of ultrasound, some sort of testing, some sort of counseling. Even our genetic counselor, who was supposed to be neutral, mm -hmm. steered us more towards an abortion or termination, as they called it. Right. And even we denied it, and mm -hmm. they scheduled it anyways, just in case we changed our minds. Mm -hmm. But Brandon and Brittany didn't change their minds. And on August 27, 2014, Jackson Buell was born, missing roughly 80% of his brain. Well, I remember laying there when I was getting my C-section, and he tried to prepare me for just even how small his head was. And even that first initial shock was like, okay, we're really in for something because he was a lot smaller than I ever anticipated. <laughs> Jackson, as far as doctors can tell, is not in pain, but is severely disabled. He receives his nutrition from a tube and has frequent startle seizures. It's okay. Hey, it's our mommy's right guy. here. I got you. Did you fall asleep? Misdiagnosis after misdiagnosis, the Buells finally learned their son's condition when he turned one. Jackson has microhydronucephaly, which means there's spinal fluid where his brain's left and right hemispheres should be. Brandon and Brittany made a decision early on in their parenting. Instead of preparing for Jackson's death, they would focus on Jackson's life. We want him to experience as much as possible, and it's really benefited him because he's really smart and strong and he's learning. They document his strides and Facebook Hi, videos. Bud. Mommy's proud of you. Look at you eating good. that cookie. Jackson eating on his Yummy. own. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Look at those big steps. Jackson yeah. attempting to walk. The Buells even claim to hear their son say, I love you, like in this moment, captured here. I love you. I love you. Jackson recently passed the two and a half year mark, another achievement defying what the family's doctors predicted. There's a great chance he will not survive. And then if he does survive, he'll probably never hear, probably never see, probably never walk, probably never talk, probably never know he's hungry, basically not be able to do anything effectively we still walked forward in our own face saying it's not our choice. The Buells want to help other families also living with a medical marvel. So they created the Jackson Strong Foundation to help raise awareness and funds for neurological research. And the Christian couple released a book chronicling lessons they've learned. It's titled Don't Blink. This life is short. Happiness is fleeting. Nothing lasts forever and it's enjoying the moment, it's seizing the day, it's carpe diem. You mentioned that Jackson was here born for a purpose. What do you think that purpose is? I think it comes down to hope. He's already touched so many more lives than I will ever be able to touch, and he's not even three. Mm -hmm. We know better than anybody else, there's a great chance we outlive our son. Mm -hmm. And although that'll be tough, if and when that day happens, it does not discount anything he's done. It does not take away any value he has. Value is not in how many days you're here, mm. but it's truly to show that every single one of us has a unique story and what we can contribute to society. I love you, Jackson. What a big impact one little boy can have on the world.